problem. The Rio, it's been damaged. I don't know. Something must have interfered with the reality of others. Yes, I understand. Thankfully, some of it was salvageable. Hello everybody and welcome back to Outcast Studios, where today we are running a nose honking clown show of a clip show, ladies and gentlemen, because technology is not only fallible, but karmic and out for my blood. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, the footage that would have otherwise spanned the next eight episodes of Anadonia has become entirely unusable due to my footage corrupting as my computer crashed midway through recording and Ruby in his infinite wisdom forgetting to record his own audio. So, let's get into things. First things first, what we decided on doing at the beginning of the episode. Well, I decided that after waiting literal weeks for the Fluix crystals to grow, I wanted to make some crystal growth accelerators in order to speed up the process. And because Ruby had no idea as to what he wanted to get done, I decided to enlist his help. Um, so if you type in Fluix, uh, just Fluix, F-L-U-I-X, uh, and click on the Pure Fluix Crystals, it says you need to drop a Fluix seed made from Fluix dust and sand into the puddle of water. To make the process faster, add crystal growth accelerators. Now, we have been waiting for these things for an entire week, and it is only on 18%. So what I want to look into is getting some of those growth accelerators. So if you type in growth and uh, search up the recipe for crystal growth accelerator, we need iron ingots, fluix ME glass cables, a fluix block, and quartz glass. And a fluix block is four fluix crystals. So if you want to make some of those w uh, with me, um, I think we can speed up this process a bit. However, first we had a little music session. Got a pickaxe swinging from side to side, side, side to side. This task a grueling one. Hope to find some diamonds tonight, night, night. Diamonds tonight. After that was over, the two of us made our way to the chest room, where Ruby proceeded to give himself radiation poisoning, and I found that I had misplaced my fluix crystals. So it was off to the caves with me, because I couldn't quite remember where they came from. Who's a knight? I don't have the inventory space. Oh, there you are. It's dense, just like you. Take it. Take the urine. Did you just get radiation poisoning? Oh my god. Right, I don't have any Fluix crystals, which is shocking, because I remember having an abundance of them. So the question is, what the fuck happened to my Fluix crystals? But, much to Ruby's sadness, before I entered the mines, there was just something I had to get off my chest about his barn. I'm gonna say, we, we've, been ma we've tried to master the art of multitasking by having one of us work on a different task per episode, but... <laughs> I don't know. Something about a hamburger and, like, punching leaves and then building an ugly barn. That barn is so fucking ugly, and if it was up to me, I would tear it down, but I don't want to hurt your feelings. Upon entering the caves, I was quite surprised to find dimensional shards just lying about the place, and upon learning what they were used for, I found myself dislodging a few stuck memories from my brain. Yes, please. Um, I've just found dimensional shards. It's, this is just off of dimensional shards. What the fuck is this for? Oh, shit, that's what this is. Uh, 
That's true. Gateways to Gehenna can let a lot of shit through both ways, but this I recognize. It's primitive, but it's dimensional tech. It allows you to create your own dimensions. Though, sadly, I was quickly sidetracked from my thoughts by something Ruby had said that I found more than amusing. You were gonna say, you were gonna say catboy dimension, then, weren't you? You were gonna say a fucking catboy dimension, weren't you? I heard the C in your voice before you even said anything. Why the fuck would you say Windex? Several times. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm very easy to <laughs> entertain. Wait, how come you equated being the kindest man on earth to investing all of his money in Dogecoin? And after quite a long trek around the mines, both I and Ruby decided to engage in the age-old practice of capitalism. Hey. Oh shit, I'm on three hearts. <laughs> uh, thanks, Do you want a diamond? Here you go, sweetheart. Give me, give me that avocado. Because I am on one and a half hearts. Thank you. I mean, I have 16 bread, but avocado's tastier, you know. The millennial lifestyle and all that. Before, not too long later, I finally quote-unquote remembered how you actually obtain Fluix crystals. And we still haven't found one. Let me look it up, let me look it up. How, how the fuck... Where, where do you find them? Fluix crystals, you get those from... Oh. I forgot. It's not a gem that you mine. It's a gem that you mix. It's the whole reason I got the fucking mixer. <laughs> yeah. Redstone, charged quartz, and normal quartz. All of which... All of which... <laughs> I'm gonna say all of which we have. I just need to make it back alive. Did you remember the way back? And whilst I was on the way out of the mines, I unintentionally took a shortcut home. Uh, it it wasn't fun. <laughs> Might wanna run from that. I, uh, I overflowed my psionic energy. Well, I, that's the thing. I'm holding the right click to summon myself, and it's given me the magic circle. But I'm not moving anywhere. I am. Is it because I've got my shield on? No. In fact, because I've got my shield... Oh, I see. I'm not meant to be able to right-click, but my shield's allowing me, so it's bugging the mod by playing the animation, even though I can't do the skill. But that begs the question of why do we no, no longer have access to our skills? While I was heading back into the mines, Ruby came across another mushroom soldier. Oh, you found another one of those pets. Oh, 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 I figured out what the fuck happened to our last one, by the way. It didn't despawn. Yeah, our last one didn't despawn. It was murdered by the fucking... Right, do you know how when, when it disappeared, we found a wandering trader with llamas nearby? Directly next to the fence. It, I don't know if the mushroom attacked the llama first or what, but the llama spit the mushroom to death. What in the fuck was that? And upon us finally arriving at home, Ruby both slammed the trap door in my face and also gave life to Ted the Zed, which, to be honest, I have no idea what his plans for that thing were, but let's just say I hear them both moaning at night and leave it at that. <laughs> it is incredibly disturbing. Yeah, I've done that twice now. Don't close the trap door on me, you bitch. Right, okay. Uh, we need, uh, fucking, what was it again? What was it again? It was, uh, 
Water, redstone, charged surdus quartz, and nether quartz. I have nether quartz, I have charged surdus quartz, and I have redstone in my backpack, I think. Let me check. I should probably empty my backpack out at some point. No, I do not. I think I actually used up all my redstone, which is not good. Do we have any redstone? So, getting back on track, the two of us head to the basement of the chest room, where I finally create more fluid crystals. And Ruby somehow gets jump scared. What's what? Oh, this is the grindstone. Um, take my mana gems for a second. I need my flux crystals. I made two. How many flux crystals did you say we needed? Because if I if I open up my philosopher's stone, did I scare you with my philosopher's stone? Oh my god, I did, didn't I? Oh my god. Though, the creation of the many flux crystals wasn't as smooth as I'd hoped it would be, as I somehow ended up making something entirely different that, at the time, I hadn't the slightest clue about. Right, there's the charged quartz. There's the nether quartz. Here's the... rose quartz? <laughs> How the fuck did- why do I have rose quartz? Okay, this can be turned into polished- polished rose quartz. It's apparently radioactive, and this thing can be used to make electron tubes, which can be used to make integrated circuits, which can be used to make rotation speed controllers, which can be used to fucking- what? Yeah, I know, that's just what charged quartz does. Okay, in that case, Right, okay, so, new plan, I need, uh, more redstone, because I'm completely out now, uh, a chest, and, uh, shit, what was the other thing I needed? A chest, and, nope, actually, I think that covers it, <laughs> I just need a chest and some more, some more, uh, redstone. Of course, given the nature of my character, it was really only a matter of time before I started dropping some knowledge bombs on a, uh, a certain gem. Do you want to know? Do you want to know what the 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 reason is why we call cigarettes fags? It's because it's because people used to roll gay people up in carpets and set them on fire while they were alive. <laughs> why are you laughing at that? WHY THE FUCK DID THAT MAKE YOU LAUGH?! WHAT IS WRONG WITH YOU?! And it was also only a matter of time before Ruby would actually return to me with the items I'd asked him to collect, and to notice the decorational blocks that I'd added to the basement. Uh... Corundum, I think. Corundum. That's weird. I've never seen that word before. Right, do you have... Yeah. Yeah, I did this. Yeah, I know. To be honest, I, I didn't pay attention to the name, I just saw a glowing purple block and thought, ooh, shiny. Anyway, do you have exactly four iron ingots? Dickhead. Right, okay, I need four iron ingots and then I can craft one. I need... All I need is four iron ingots and then I can craft one singular fucking growth accelerator. After some milling about to collect the final ingredients to make a single growth accelerator, I then revealed to Ruby why I didn't just collect the items I needed for myself. I know I could go and get, go and get it myself, but it's it's much more satisfying to command you to do it, and then actually watch you do it. 
And after nearly a whole hour, we finally had a growth accelerator block, which we immediately took to EMC, because no living human alive would ever choose to manually build more of them when such a godly tool exists. Uh, praise be to the EMC gods. <laughs> Because you'd replaced the chest next to Ted the Z with a lever, and I noticed that it was missing. Either way. Yeah, I don't know what Ted the Z is, but I'm glad we have it. I can't- it's- it's not letting me put it in. Um... It's not letting me put it in. But I gave it an EMC. I gave it EMC! I gave it EMC. Oh shit, hold on. I need, to, I need to reload, give it a second. It doesn't reset the server, it just resets the item table, hold on. No, it doesn't reset the server, it resets the item table, give it a second. There we go. Fuck, it's still not working. Why did it not- Oh, there we go. Now it, it took a minute. I can't open the chest. Why can't I open the chest? Ruby? Ruby, I can't open the chest! Ruby? Oh? I mean, I'm still in the server. I don't know about you. Oh. Oh no. I too am suffering from what is known as crashing. Okay. Yeah, that was, um, that was a total failure. So, from here on out, we're going to be using an artist's rendition of what had actually happened. Okay, so, um, I managed to stay in the server after the reload, and things were fine on my end. I was able to put the growth accelerator into the condenser and feed it stuff to make more of them. Ruby, on the other hand, was completely fucking dead. Until... See, I told you you'd be fine. I'm gonna say, I feel like I may have overvalued it still, but on the other hand, it's just like... Yeah. Yeah. At least this way we kind we're kind of working for it in a sense. So, with Ruby back up and running and the crystal growth accelerators finally done, we both headed to the barn to set them up. Device offline. Oh shit, do these things need to be powered? <laughs> I think these things need to be powered. What are you doing? No, 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 no. What we need now are ME cables. Uh, I'd go personally with the uh, glass cables. They're easy to make, it's uh, just quartz fiber and flux. I need to make more flukes crystals. Wait, did I not save a crystal? Oh my fucking Christ, I didn't save a crystal. Yeah, it turns out they needed power. Um, so while I began work on that, Ruby began searching for some cactus for some reason. I genuinely don't remember why. Um, but while he was adventuring, we had this little exchange that I'm only really including here because I personally think it has plot significance. You know, with these dimensional shards popping up, I'm almost willing to bet that it's some sort of, I don't know, weakness between the lines of reality, but that'd be silly. Yeah, it would be. Right, I need to take the... Yeah, yeah, especially if there was no pre-planned law ready for that to happen. Hmm. 
I'm gonna hook up these fucking crystal growing bitches. And I wanna know, can these things be powered by coal generators? And then I had a witty thing to say about chronology. Do you know how out of time that, that song is? Like, not you singing it, but just like chronologically? You're singing a Halloween song in December in a video that's going out in March. And as I was pulling my hair out about trying to power the crystal growth accelerators, I came across a rather outlandish type of power generator that, to be honest, I, I just thought sounded funny. You know, we could make a slipstream generator. <laughs> All we need is a moat of air, a phantom membrane, a feather, a triangulus, a quantandrium, and an inverso triangular. <laughs> oh, shut up, you pussy. <laughs> that would literally only be punishing yourself. But, once I'd settled on a type of power generator I had hoped would work, it came time to clear my inventory of clutter, when I realized I was still holding on to the Martyr's Journal. I still let yet, yet to let go of this fucking journal. I haven't put it down yet. I'm just gonna put it in here. I'll go back to translating it later. I mean, someone's fucking got to. It seems familiar enough that I'd be able to decode it given time. It's just... I don't know, it gives me a headache looking at it. I think it has something to do with the fucking... Uh, psychometry... Telekinetic... Telepathic... Why can I never remember the word telepathic? I think it has something to do with the telepathic nature of the words on the paper. And the fact that I can't fucking remember basic, like... Language structure. Oh yeah, I also died to lava in a quite traumatic experience. Vibes. That's a good thing, you fuck. Yeah, gay squared. No, 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 please, fuck, please, no, no, no! And then threatened the pumpkin Santa Claus, which, um... I, I swear I'm not high. And why would we have to worry? We're not bad. What the good guys? Where are the good guys? <laughs> and besides, even if he does, I sleep with a gun that can literally blow things up. I'm fine. <laughs> no, I don't have to worry about the fucking pumpkin Santa Claus. I can just blow his brains out. <laughs> oh, is it drenched? Is the iron ore drenched, Ruby? Is it drenched, Ruby? Ow, I fell down a fucking hole. <laughs> what, are, what do you mean mean-spirited? I've done nothing mean-spirited. Fuck off, you know I'm the editor. If, if you want that in the video, I've got to do it. Okay, so, some context for this next clip. Ruby was just looking around the mines for some copper, right? To help me finally build the generator. And we were talking about the Paul McGann Doctor Who movie. When you say movie, do you mean the 50th anniversary? Because there's only one movie ever been made, and that was in 19-fucking-80-something. Yeah, Paul McGann, and the, the guy who played the man, I don't, I don't know his fucking name, <laughs> I never watched the movie. <laughs> the master from the 1980s Doctor Who movie gives you Jafar vibes. <laughs> Can I just get a side-by-side -side on the screen, please? <laughs> yeah, these are the two guys he was on about, um, but anyway, it took around another 20 or so minutes before I actually got my hands on the oh-so-coveted copper, and when I did, 
I just had to let my feelings be known on how long it had taken. Okay, well, hi. I was about to kill you. I want you to know you were literal milliseconds away from me pulling out my sword. What, milliseconds from my sword? <laughs> you know what, I can agree on that. And my feelings on the, um, the dislocated waystones that Ruby had found whilst out wandering. When did you get it? And you found just two more villages that hadn't been ransacked yet. That's impossible, that should... Huh. They shouldn't spawn like that, that's not how waystones work. That worries me. That really worries me. What if it's him, though? I'm just putting them down. What if it's the, the guy I crashed with? How close were they to our base? I don't know where that is, I haven't been that far out yet. Okay, so it's, it was still relatively far away. That's... That's all right. Still, keep an eye out. I don't want to get caught unawares. Look, I don't know if this guy is like good or bad or whatever, but I'd ra I'd be I'd be safer of mind and I'd be calmer of mind if I just if I had the upper hand when we met him. All right. But, that ominous feeling out of the way, I finally managed to craft the heat generator. This better work. Oh, please, this better work. Oh, thank fuck it does. Okay. I thought for a second that that had given me the wrong type of copper. I was about to cry. Only, um, well... You can tell how that went for yourself. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, well, so we now have a heat generator that we can use for all sorts of wonderful things. <laughs> Warming my cold, dead soul. I don't fucking know. But ever the undeterred champion, I immediately set about trying to find another way I could power those... Gehenna forsaken cables. Please, God, just fucking give me something I can work with. Okay. Thermo generators. I need thermo and basic capacitors. And dielectric casing and dielectric paste. And to get that, I need coal, clay, and lava. <laughs> oh, first I, um, I had to quench my appetite. Ruby, I swear to God, give me that fucking steak or I will shoot you. Give me that fucking steak. Concerned about the fact that the target was there, and it it fucking um. Yeah, this is fine. We don't have to worry about this. And that's about it, actually. Um, 
that's where all the footage basically stops, since uh, Ruby crashes completely when we go back to the shack to EMC some steak. All I have from this point forwards is my audio, and I can't really even give you the satisfaction of an artist's rendition of me finishing the generator, because I never do. Um, the ending of this session was such a failure that me and Ruby took a five month break from recording. And just to give you a teaser for the future here, um, we never get back to making that generator since, uh, well, to be honest, over the course of those five months, the seeds had already grown with how many times we'd come on the server to do maintenance. And, you know, I, I really hate that I had to make a video like this. Not only because it breaks the immersion, but also because there's really just no way of making this satisfying. All I can really say is that with luck, I will never have to make a recap video like this again, and that going forwards, everything will be as it should be. I will say though, that you better strap in from this point forward, because the story is only just beginning. Um, welcome to our Shadow of Israfel episode 43, I suppose. Your regularly scheduled episodes of Anadonia will begin again on Tuesday the 12th, um, not to sound like a a fucking news reporter here or something, but uh, I hope to see you there. I'll see you later, shitlords. Bye-bye.